Hey guys, Neo stock video. Short squeeze, guys. Going to talk about short squeeze in Neo stock video. As you know, I called it right yet again. I met my target price. I said it was going to go up 480. Over 480, it went up. It's come down a bit since then. But fact is, I called it right, guys. Anyway, we're going to talk about short squeeze Neo stock. It's um, coming up to 55 minutes past 8 p.m. UK time on the 3rd of December 2024. And we're going to look at the stock price chart, guys, for Neo stock. And there's the live price. As you see, it went over 480 went to 485 come down since then but it's not the end of my prediction guys it's only one part of it right which i've got right i called it right this part as you know anyway guys um thought i'd make this video talk about the short squeeze is there going to be a short squeeze anyway current price is four four sixty and about there it's come down a bit but anyway as i said it's only one part of my uh prediction neo stock prediction if you know what it is if you don't know it's in my other videos go and listen to them as you know i call it right other channels weren't calling it right they were saying it was gonna gonna go down but but i called it from fourth 40, 435, I said it was going to go up to 480, over 480, I called it right, you know that. Anyway, I'm just eating some ice cream, and uh, so I'm going to talk about Neo, the short squeeze, and I just want to say, I just want to, it's not financial advice, I just want to say that, you know, Tesla, been doing some research, been doing some reading, etc. European car manufacturers, a lot of them, are quite, they're in trouble. They're in trouble, right? And the problem is they're not being, they haven't been, you know, basically building enough EV cars, right? So they're in trouble. There's problems. And you've got, you got in Germany, right? You've got some of them, they're on strike. They're on strike. It's a dire straight situation, what's going on, right? There's big problems. And that's because they haven't let, they haven't allowed the European Union, they haven't allowed China in, right? Because they're talking about tariffs, etc. They're keeping China out. And, and, and because of that, it's causing problems for their industry, right? So the future is China, guys. EVs, Chinese EVs, right? There's three stocks on the US stock market, three main Chinese EV stocks, right? NEO being one of them. And they're shooting themselves in the foot, this European Union and, and America, because I think that Tesla are in big trouble as well, although it's not reflecting in their stock price yet. I'll just talk about this stock, NEO, right? The reason why it's going down now, anyway, it's part of, um, it's part of, um, Several moves, as I said, if you look at my other videos, what I said is going to happen. Because you know I call it right because I've got superhuman powers, right? But just getting back to the stock price now, before I carry on talking about the wider issues. This is just people taking profits, right? That bought 430, 440 and they sold on the way up, right? Probably they made money, they listened to me, not financial advice, but they probably loaded up when I said it was going to go up. So they're taking profits, but 
it's just one part of my overall prediction. Got the first part right. And this is that uh, ninth time I've called it right with Neo, as you know. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying. Yeah, Tesla are, are in big, big, big trouble. Big trouble. I mean, if I was a shorting man, right? If I was type that short stocks, I would short Tesla. I would short Tesla and make a fortune. But I'm not really a shorter, although I can I can predict shorts. Um and I have done, as you know. If you see my videos, I was I predicted the 2024 mini stock market crash. As you know, a week before, I called it right. Brought down most of the big stocks. All right? So I think, anyway, Tesla got problems. And of course, as Tesla's stock price is going to crash. Can't say when. I haven't looked at the chart. I haven't analysed it. The price chart. Otherwise, I could tell you exactly when, more or less. As you know, I caught up just yesterday, the second... I said to you it's going to go up on the third neo stock and it did look proof is in the pudding right so you know that i've got powers and um and yeah you're going to listen to mr prickly pear right you're going to listen to mr prickly pear that is only making videos for the views right to get ads the money from the ads my channel's not monetized. I make videos because I know what I'm talking about, not because Mr. Prickly Pear. You go and listen to him for all your neo news. Guys, I want you to type in and you open a browser and type in neostocknews.com. Right? And see where it takes you. Let you know so who knows what they're talking about. Neostocknews.com. <laughs> right? So you want to follow Mr. Prickly Pear. He tells you the stock's going to 60 cents. And he hasn't called it right. I called it right nine times on Neo. Right? He hasn't called it once. He was telling you it was going to go up when it was $67 on the way down, right? All the way down, he's been telling you it was going to go up. And now, when it's down, he's telling you it's going down more. Can't get it right. You can't call it, right? Because he's deluded. All he's doing is talking about Neo, Neo car this, Neo car that. Washing machine in the boot, blah, blah, blah. CEO said this, CEO said that. Just going, getting some news somewhere and talking about it, right? But that doesn't tell you anything about the stock price. I'm the one who told you about the stock price of Neo. I'm the one who called it right. So I don't know why you're going to listen to him, take your advice from him, etc. Anyway, as I say, I'm getting back on topic. Right, but Tesla are in trouble. Other manufacturers are in trouble. They can't. Some of them they can't build quality EVs. Right, talking about bat batteries and the technology, and that's why they're in trouble. Some of them are even closing down, and that's what they fear. They fear. The, the wave from China, right? The, the, you know, China EVs. Um, so let's talk about tariffs because the reality is that they don't have advanced technology like China, you know, China EVs have, like Neo. So they get all sulky, sulky, and start shouting about tariffs, right? Because they don't want fair competition. 
And that's the situation now. That's what it is, right? You've got basically people that are self-centered, that just want more and more and more money. And it, not interested in the consumer, not interested in the American consumer or European consumer. What they're interested in is their pockets, their bank balances, right? It's just total and utter greed, right? Total and utter greed. I mean, you know, you could you could give them a trillion, two trillion, three trillion. They'd never be happy. They want more and more and more, right? Like they're going to live forever. Um, and along the way, trying to get richer and richer and richer, they don't care about normal people, normal households, people that it's going to cost them three, four, five thousand pounds extra per year. You know, their budget. So when it comes to like being able to buy, you know, a new Tesla, they won't be able to afford it. That's why they want Chinese EVs because they're not only cheaper. They're better, they're better made, right? They're better made, guys. And that's why you've got, you've got the Americans talking about tariffs and they don't want fair competition. That's what it is. So, basically, I'm holding... I could have sold up there. Look, I can prove it to you. I've got a position position here on this account. I could have sold here, up here, made a little bit, not much, and then bought back down here. I could have even bought more without selling this position here. I could have bought more down here at 430, but I already talk, spoken about that in previous videos. I, I spoke about why I wasn't buying and the price would have to be a lot lower and why I didn't think it was going to come down, etc., etc., etc. So I'm true to my word. Look, I've, I've got the same position as I had on the previous videos. I haven't sold. I could have sold. I could have bought. As you know, like I, could, I predict stocks right. So I, I knew this was going to come down after hitting where I said it was going to hit. So I could have sold there and bought here. I could have. I could have sold here when it was here, before it went down, and then bought lower. But I didn't. I'm true to my word, right? So, point is, talking about a short squeeze for Neo stock. Yes, two types of short squeeze, right? One where you get obviously like a lot of retail investors turn to neo that could happen right and then but obviously like because there's so many stocks now and it's it's not organized they're pumping different stocks but that could happen to neo and the other type of short squeeze is basically the big boys loading up when they're done with tesla right because they can't get any more out of it Except for on the way down, they're done with Tesla, they're done with American, um, you know, manufacturers, etc. They're all in trouble. They're laying off people. Some of them are on strike. Other ones that can't build technology, they can't build electric properly. So they go half and half, electric and petrol, electric and gas, right? They haven't got battery swapping technology. So if the big boys load up on Neo, then you're going to see one massive short squeeze that's going to take Neo to the moon. All right, they take Neo to the moon, guys. Because people know Tesla are in trouble. I've been reading loads of articles 
loads of news about Tesla, about other manufacturers in, in Europe, in Germany, etc. And you build up a picture of what's going on. And then you hear about these tariffs and you put two and two together and you can see that the future neo stock it should explode it should rocket everyone's going to jump on it guys not just the big boys the retail investors they're going to be buying more and holding because you know it's going to the moon. You've got Firefly coming out. All right. Neo Firefly. And then you've got um, the sedan, right? With a new technology. It's going to make Tesla look like um, some kind of push along car, some kind of brick car. The Neo New Sedan. It's got high technology, guys. AI. Better than NVIDIA. Right? So, that's what you've got to look forward to. I'm just checking if there's any comments. Um, check what people are saying on other platforms um, yeah basically guys you know I called it right all the way that's why stock tweets blocked me right I told you this in my, in my other videos because i got superhuman powers and they don't like it because they're in with the hedge funds. And that's how they make money from retail investors. That's why they block me, stock tweets, block me, Yahoo conversations block me because they manipulate everything. And they know I call it right, guys. So share my videos on stock tweets, Yahoo conversations, and all trading platforms with comment sections. Guys, I called it right nine times on Neo Stop. Exactly, exactly, exactly as I said. Like a dream, like a dream. When I say something, it happens, right? Like a like a dream. Like you can't believe it, right? You can't believe it, can you? Like back to the future. It's unbelievable, isn't it, guys, right? So Anyway, guys, this video, my prediction that I called right that has happened now, again, it's just one part of, a, of um, my other predictions. Uh, you have to check in my videos, you know, what I said, right? But I've been looking at some other stocks as well. And what I'm doing behind the scenes, what you might not know, I haven't mentioned it, but I'm building, um, um, I'm building a list. I'm building a list of stocks that, future stocks, right? That are going to be the next big stocks that we, you know, we, no one's talking about now. I'm building a list, right? And I'm only going to share it with a selected, selected number of uh, followers, right? So if you're following me. You might get a chance, right? I'm going to share my list when it's done. I mean, I can sell my list, right? I can sell my list. I could put my list on Amazon, right? Amazon Books or whatever. I could sell my list, right? And make a ton of money. That's no problem. But I'm going to share my list with a selected few that follow me on my channel, right? I'm building a list, a powerful list, a powerful list. Believe me, guys. I'm working on it, you know, behind the scenes, right? I hope it'll be out in a few weeks. I'm building a list of stocks that 
I will be investing in, right? Taking positions in for the long term. Stocks that are the next big stocks that we don't hear about now. I'm building my list and you'll become, hopefully, not financial advice, but hopefully we can become, you know, super rich. But I'm only going to share the list with a selected few, right? Because I want to give people a chance, if they want to get in, to get in at an early stage, etc. So, anyway, guys, I, I, I'll update you because I've got to check some other stocks. I might have to make some videos on other stocks. Uh... I think and most of the stocks I've spoken about, it's exactly what I said it's going to happen. It's happened. You know, most of the stocks. I've got to look at some more stocks anyway, guys. Make some videos when I get some time of more stocks. But as you know, I've got superhuman powers. Like a dream, guys. You woke up and bang. I called it exactly as I said it would happen. It happened. Like I, 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 can, I can move the markets myself, guys, with my, with my powers, you know. <laughs> I could lift, lift and pull and drag. Powers, guys. Powers. <laughs>